In this video, I'm going to explain the process to recover the endpoints from boot failure. Uh, we would require a serial cable, we would need an Ethernet cable, uh, we would require a TFTP software. Uh, we would require some boot file that I'm going to attach to the uh, to this document. Uh, there are two ways to recover the endpoint from boot failures. One is uh, you connect the codec to a DHCP enabled network so that uh, the codec can get the IP from the network. And we, we use one of the laptop on the same network and we can push the software. The second option is to connect the laptop directly to the LAN port of uh, the codec. And we set up a DHCP server on the laptop itself. I'm going to connect the laptop directly to the codec and I'm going to assign uh, static IP on the laptop and that's that's how I'm going to recover the software. So in my case the COM port is COM14. So I've opened up a Perry session. Uh, I'm going to use the same COM port. Uh, the default baud rate is 38400 and uh, I'm going to tr I'm going to access the codec now. Uh, I'll turn on the codec and uh, here is what I see when I try to turn it on. It says, can't get the image. It looks like the image is corrupt. So um, I'm getting the Saturn prompt. Uh, it's, a, it's a prompt for C90. I'm going to restart the unit and uh, I'll try to break the boot sequence. So just keep tapping B and C. You will get the Saturn prompt. Uh, so, I've plugged an Ethernet cable from uh, the LAN port of my laptop uh, to the LAN port of the codec. I'm going to set up a DHCP server on my laptop and uh, this way we will try to push the software image to, to the codec. So, all I would need to do would be I'll go to the network connection settings on my laptop. Uh, I'm going to choose the local area connection. Uh, we'll go to the properties. I'll use uh, IPv4 address and uh, I'll I'll type an address of my choice here. So once I do that, I'll, I'll see this uh, message changing to unidentified network in a few minutes now. Yep, so once done, uh, I'll open uh, the TFTP software and uh, I'll set up a DHCP server here. So what I'm going to make is uh, the starting IP address, I'll make it uh, in, in the range of the same uh, IP that I set on the laptop. Uh, the default address, uh, so this is going to the default router IP would be is going to be the IP address of my laptop and the mask would be the network mask. Once I do so you will see the interface uh, IP showing up here. Uh, once you do so you will see the uh, the IP getting assigned to to the codec. It means that uh, codec is now talking to the DHCP server we have set, set on my uh, laptop. The next step I need to do is uh, I need to uh, choose the location from where uh, this this uh, TF this server is going to uh, get the file from. So I'll choose the desktop location and I select OK. So I have created a folder on the desktop with the name tftp. Uh, this folder contains a package extract file 
it contains the package soft tc package software itself software that you'll be using uh, to make your system a dhcp server and a tftp server and uh, we would require a uboot file as well I would be opening up the uh, the Puri session again, and I'm going to run a series of commands that will help us to uh, start the upgrade process. If we do print environment, uh, we will be able to see uh, this this server IP set for the unit. Now I need to choose the location from where uh, the software is going to choose the file. So I already choose desktop as the default location for for uh, the software to pick up. Uh, now I'm going to choose the folder on the desktop. So the, this command is the default that is set tnv underscore tft underscore path. Uh, the de destination is already set on the TFTP software. I just need to mention the uh, file name here, the folder name here. So this is also set. Uh, the so inside this folder, I need to mention the uh, software package name. It would be set environment, set run package as five two zero zero. Uh, I'm trying to upload the uh, TC seven dot three dot zero. So I'm, I'm going to mention the same package name here. So this is the same package that we have here in the background. You press enter. Run. Run pkg. Extract. So Kodak has started the uh, format procedure. Uh, the moment you see uh, this hash coming up, you will be get to know that the upgrade has started. You will also see uh, the Kodak IP here and the server IP address. Uh, so it looks all good now.
so the codec is booting up uh, uh, we'll be getting the login prompt shortly so you see the login prompt uh, it means that the codec is back on now uh, and the software has been recovered so that's the procedure for uh, recovering the codec firmware thank you